ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी आई एम प्रोफेसर पिटकर हियर एंड हैप्पी टू बी हियर एट दिस फाउंटेन पेन शो देर हैव बीन क्वार्ट ऑफ यू फाउंटेन पेन शोज हैपनिंग इन इंडिया ऑल्सो नाव अ डेज एंड ऑफकोर्स देर आर देर ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड एंड नाव इट इज पिकिंग अप इन इंडिया ऑल्सो वी हैड कपल ऑफ शोज इन पूना कपल ऑफ शोज इन बॉम्बे देन दो इन कैलकेटा एंड वन क्वेश्चन कम्स to my friends ki okay what is it that i should go for a attending a pen show so there are some opinions that i thought i should be expressing here first of all if you compare something between going to a fountain pen show and to what you can call a pen shop what happens that when you go to a fountain pen shop you have to know what you want to buy the the person across the counter show you certain things which is by his choice by your choice whereas when you go to a fountain pen exhibition there are hundreds of pens that you can see by yourself and that is a good fun that you can have and uh, that it is always a worthwhile an exercise to see brands so what happens that when you go to a pen shop you are restricted by the number of pens that the shopkeeper shows you in a fountain pen exhibition there are hundreds and more than 100 rather thousand of pens that you can have a look at it and select over there when you go to a shop they would ask you okay, what is your budget what is your range whether you want to buy a pen of 2000 20000 5000 but here in an exhibition you can see a variety of pens and this exhibition which is put up and even the other exhibition you find there are pens costing as low as 100 rupees 200 rupees 500 rupees 5000 rupees 50000 rupees and even in lakhs of rupees coming to the brands when you go to a particular shop the various shops show you the brands that they sell or 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 which is connected to the particular shop in an exhibition more than 50 to 70 brands have been displayed over here and you can you know then select which brand you want whether it is click whether it is magna carta whether it is mont blanc sailor parker shepherd and so on and so forth so that advantage you have then comes the next point that in a fountain pen show most importantly you meet a lot of people you meet people of like minded uh, thinking you can say they are all pen collectors they discuss fountain pens they discuss inks and so on and so forth talking of meeting people is one great advantage that you have because everyone has single interest is the fountain pen and which is your interest by which you would go over there so that's the most important criteria and in a fountain pen exhibition like the one that is put up here at nehru center you have three clear divisions one of the division which is the main stay is where they are selling the fountain pen so there are spaces let out to various companies various brands various retailers they have put up from hundreds to thousands of fountain pens hundreds of inks are on displayed so they can have a look at you can have a great choice of what you want to buy then comes there is a section over here which is a different one where it is for knowledge sharing in this exhibition presently we had a collection of more than 200 ink uh, pots of brass from the past by manohar desai who is a phd scholar and he he is doing his great research on indian writing instruments and that is very critical and important because you can see the whole history of writing instruments of pens and so on and so forth then there is uh, irana ekbote who has displayed fantastic collection of antique ink bottles which you otherwise will never have been able to see it and that's the important then there is a ink testing table where if you can have you can have a place where you can test various colors of inks various colors of uh, pen nibs and so on and so forth that is all possible then comes another area which is the workshop area and workshop area has been specially designed where uh th- this time across the three days there were variety of workshops happening over here right from calligraphy indian calligraphy western calligraphy islamic calligraphy there are pen talks by different people they are talking on fountain pens how a pen works to how to maintain a pen there are people doing nib tuning how to tune a nib there are people uh, doing artwork using inks so there are huge things so these three sections are important where there is a sale component where you can think and buy then there is a display section which is for your knowledge and third one is where you can have the workshops and those are of a great importance and as i said earlier this is a place where you meet hundreds of people who are like minded 
you can exchange ideas you can see what they are buying what you are buying what is their opinion on fountain pens and it's a great gathering so i can only say visit a fountain pen show wherever it is whether it is in your city in cities outside your place where you stay travel to your place to visit a pen show in india in abroad and be passionate about using a fountain pen so use a fountain pen buy a fountain pen today thank you